Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to contact Facebook or Meta live chat support. As you can see on my right hand corner here, um, someone joined me. I contacted Meta support regarding a disabled or restricted asset. So um, I had a representative from Meta uh, live chat support and then we spoke and discussed at, uh, which we had to chat in detail. And finally, I had a solution for my problem. So in the same way, I want to show you how you can contact them for help if you have any problem. So this is it. First of all, you come to your left-hand corner. When you open, go to facebook.com, go to your left-hand corner and then go to ad manager. So from the ad manager, you come to your left-hand corner and click on... Okay, so you go to, um, you click on all tools and then you go to business support form. Before I forget, let me add that the option to contact Meta Live Chat Support is available to only advertisers. It is not available for everybody. It's only those that are advertising. If you are not doing paid advertising on Facebook, you won't have the option to contact them. Take notice of that. So in that case, I will leave a link in the description you can follow to contact me for help in case you are finding it difficult to contact Meta Live Chat Support. Okay, so you come to your left-hand corner and click on help. And on the right here, now uh, 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 in time past, you can easily just uh, tell them any problem you have and you can contact them. Now the situation has changed. So if you have a problem, for example, you have to come, there's something like you see um, contact support. You will see contact support. If you don't see contact support, for my own, I will have already contacted support and they are asking me to start a new case. So if you don't see, you, will, you may not see create new case because if you haven't contacted them earlier, you won't see that. So what you will see is contact support. So you click on the contact support. When you click on the contact support, they will ask you to give a brief description of what you have. And it must be up to some number of characters. So this is what I would suggest. So you type whatever problem you have here. So let me just show you. So you type something like what I put here. This is just a description of the problem I have, but it could be anything. So I said my account is restricted and I need your help to solve it. Please help me. It is urgent. So you click on the next step. So you see the system uh, based on what you wrote, they have selected that you have a disabled or restricted asset. So they will now ask you to select the asset that is restricted. Sometimes it may not even be that you are having a restriction. You may need some uh, to ask them some questions and all that. So in that case, what I will normally will advise you is that just select any of them. So for example, I've selected this one. So now it will ask you to, um, to, to if you want to add more description or the description you put, they'll put it there. They'll ask you to put your phone number and then um if you click on start chat for example it will open to an automated message where you may still be asked whether the automated chat may still ask you some questions and if you are not okay you can click on i need i still need more help so um, because I don't want to really contact them, if I click on it, it will open the live chat support for me. But I want to just demonstrate to you. When you click on this start chat, it is going to open. It may open to an automated message. They may also open direct to the live chat with a representative. But if it is still an automated message and the automated message is not answering your questions, you will still ask. There is an option for you to still choose that. I need more help. And so if I come here, for example, the earlier chat that I was, if you come back, so when I click, this is what it, this is how it was um, 
earlier on above this you there was a message there that was telling me that i should read some articles and all that then i i i chose there was an option that said i need more help because the articles they were referring me to read were not really answering my question so i clicked on i need more help then now they said we may uh they said they would they would transfer a chat to a live chat representative so that that person can chat with me in real time and help me so if you look here you see we want to make sure that you need the help this is an automated bot this automated bot can check all of your ad account and figure out and all that you see yes yeah, so there was an option here choose another and not now so i clicked on when i choose on when i clicked on choose another it went on still asking you to choose different advertising account then i click on not now then this option came that it looks like you need additional help then i clicked on what chat with agent then when i clicked on the chat with agent now they transferred it and then someone joined me for a chat so that is exactly how you can contact meta live chat support if you have problem or you have any problem uh, contacting meta live chat support and you may need my help please you can follow the whatsapp or telegram link in the description of this video to contact me but please take notice uh, if i'm going to contact them for you it is not for free in most cases depending on whatever problem you may have i may even be able to help you resolve it but if i look at your problem and i cannot help you resolve it i can contact them for you depending on what it is it's not all everything that they can i you can someone can contact them on your behalf but even if i'm going to contact them you pay for it take notice of that thank you for watching and see you in the next video remember to subscribe turn on the notification bell and like this video bye bye